Welcome back to Smart Mouth Beauty. I'm Heather and this is my sister Holly. And in case you haven't noticed, it's freaking cold outside. Why? Why? Is it so we are in the Ohio Valley. Cold. It is so cold. No, it's here. so cold. Um, actually, I just looked at the at the um, temperature and it's 37, which is like a heat wave. Like I'm ready to take my top off. <laughs> but I won't. But it's been like a heat wave, like a heat wave today. Yes. Because the high has been 10. like 10. A wind chill of like negative four for like three weeks. Speaking of negative four, did you see that meme with the with the car thing where the woman texted her husband about why is the man sitting on the toilet in the car? The car is not starting. Dashboard shows the sign of a person sitting on the toilet. Husband says, "What? Send me a picture." It's actually <laughs> it's negative, negative four degrees, degree mark. and it and it looks like it's a person sitting on the toilet. Like Can on the you all see that? Anyway, okay. So we thought it would be really fun <laughs> to talk about our winter survival favorites. I'm gonna go first. Okay. First favorite is this hat. Just gonna say favorite. Because it's, it's so cute though. But for real, like it's cute. when your mama told you that you lose all your heat out of your head, she's right. Yeah, you really do. You really do. You really do. You, you have can to wear have a, hat. a less puffy coat if you have a hat on. Yeah, I agree. It makes a huge difference. I agree. And it's cute. It's got like balls on it. It's from Target from a couple of years ago. It's seen better days, but it still works. It's cute. It's warm. So, also, um, can we notice my cute Charlotte that's already made its appearance in another video? Um, and I think you have one too, though, yeah. No, you don't understand how many of these I've made. Well, you quick like a bunny busted them all out. I have made nine of these Charlottes. What are you putting yours on like a Lone Ranger? <laughs> Why not? There is okay, no look. right or wrong way. There's not. To, but look, to wear for real. Them. For real. It is so cold that I'm cold in my house. Oh my god. Like yes. I'm afraid to get my heating bill. Like it is gonna be astronomical and I'm still cold. Right. I think mine was 380 the other day. Oh my god. And we're still cold. I haven't I haven't gotten my bill yet, but it's a matter of time. So I have been keeping this little shawlette on the couch. Yeah. Because my my couch backs up to my window and it's so cold that I'm freezing. This is how I sit on my couch now, with a hat, with this, with a blanket, with, with a cat, a with a space heater yes. and central yes. heat. Yes, it is um, ridiculous. It's ridiculously cold. Okay. So I I would, if I were on my couch, I would have the little shawlet on me, but I have not, my, my living room is boarded up, like all tarped up. We're having some construction done at the house. So we wanted to like tarp up the TV and the couch so it doesn't get drywall dust on it. You feel me if you know drywall dust is in the air. So we've been trapping ourselves in the bedroom for like weeks. So we have a little space heater and because it's in the bedroom, we're nice and toasty and we've got blankets. Anyway, okay. What else you got? So I made a list. Okay, Monica. Of things that um, are helping me to survive this winter because trust me, I Heather don't like to be cold. There are three things you can never let happen to me. You can't let me get cold, tired, or hungry. Are you look at those things. Exactly, that's what you told Special before we went to Scotland. Uh -huh. That's the advice you I gave him. I did give him a big list of stuff. Don't let her get cold, three? hungry, or tired. Those are the only ones he admitted to. Okay, the other thing that I have been um, using is I've got some new bedroom slippers. I did not bring them, but we will link them down below and they're fabulous. Um, I have a bed buddy, which is brand name for one of those, um, uh, things <laughs> that you put in the microwave and you heat it up and it's fabulous. It's got like beans in it or something. Rice husk or Tony husk or Tone husk. What? Well, I wasn't thinking that, but you heat it up and it acts like a hot water bottle. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but it's not hot water bottle. And okay. it's not um, a heating pad. Right, so you can like bend it and Well, you can go to sleep yeah. with it and it right. doesn't matter, you know, I can burn it's the house It's just gonna down. cool down. Okay, yeah. What else? So, uh, beauty products that have kept me somewhat sane. All right, I just repurchased this. I just repurchased this. <laughs> this from Target. 
It, they have repackaged it, so I had a hard oh, yeah. time finding it. But this is the microderm abrasion yes. polish. They repackaged it. That's cute. And it's cheaper now. I love this pump. stuff. I've gone through three or four, but yeah. I haven't purchased a new one, so I haven't seen that packaging. I yeah. love that. It's the Botanics. But go, but go easy. Probably in the winter, for me, with super dry skin, I only do it once a week. I do it once a week. Yeah, because yeah. it's just too much. Yeah. It's too much. So go easy. Um, the other thing that's kept me sane is a oil uh, cleansing balm. This is the, I got it on um, Amazon. This is the Lavender Vanilla Cleansing Oil Face Wash and Makeup Remover. Um, sulfate free, paraben free, non-toxic, GMO free, cruelty free, blah, 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 blah. It's a whole lot of free. It's a whole lot of free, but I love it. It, gets it, it gets it done, girl, it gets it done. So, oh, okay, I, I miss saw this. When I first saw this over in your loot of crap that's on the table, I thought that that was a spray. I oh. missed saw it because it was like this way. No, that is just like a dispensing dropper where you, you do a pump and it, the oil then comes out. Yeah. And then you do like this and do like that. On dry skin. So I get in the tub. Oh, yes. It does smell good. That's So amazing. I get in the tub and while the water is, while it's filling, my face is dry, my hands are dry. I, I massage that, that into my face. Where did you get that? Amazon. I might want to try that. Just Google or Amazon search uh, cleansing oil or something. Anyway, okay. The worst thing you can do is overbathe. Yes. In the winter, and I have to tell you though that I can't. I can't. I can't. It's well. I can't the catch not take a bath. Is you're cold. I'm freezing. So you want to get in the bath? It's the only thing that warms me up. And then when you get out, your skin just <sighs> you're so dry. It's you can't so see straight. dry. But I did hear something interesting, and I am going to quote her many times in this in this video. If you have not already, if you don't know who she is, link her down below. Dr. Dre. Yes. She's cute. I have binge watched probably 30 of her videos mm -hmm. just this weekend. Mm -hmm. She um, is in her 30s, I think. She is a dermatologist out of Houston, mm -hmm. and she does a YouTube channel all about skincare, um, skin. She does some lifestyle stuff, some vlogging. But it's not overwhelming. It's, it's not no, this doctor talking to no, you. No, she breaks down, break it down, break it down, girl. She's just real. And she said something very interesting the other day, which I was like, you know, she's right. For dry skin, especially this time of year, you don't need to over bathe and you don't need to over um, soap. Soap yourself because I sit in an office all day. She right. said you do your um, face, your, face your, pits, your pits, your groin. groin. So and maybe your feet. I would include the feet because my feet get stinky and sweaty, but whatever. Okay. You don't need to be over over washing yourself because that soap is just a detergent. It strips out the oils. Da, 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 da. Also, she recommends, and I do this, but I don't do this anyway, is you is applying your skincare right out of the tub. Yes. So I, for example, which is hard to do when you're freezing, it can be and you hard. just want to dry off and get well, your house coat back on. My bathroom is about as big as this space right here. And when I take a hot bath and I've got the furnace on, it's hotter than Hades in my in my bathroom. Really? Oh yeah. So when I get out for my body. Girl, you cannot go wrong yes. with CeraVe. Yes. And I will tell you, the other thing I like about Dr. Dre is that she um, is a big um, drugstore advocate. skincare advocate. And she loves CeraVe. And I mean, I've been using CeraVe for years, and I mean, I so love it too. So even though she has access to medical or pharmaceutical grade products, she's talked about CeraVe right. a lot. And she can afford luxury, sure. but she doesn't like to spend money. She's cheap. Mm -hmm. She's self-confessed cheapy. So here's what I've been doing. Um, Cause honestly, this isn't even enough for me. So I have been taking, um, yeah, she talked about oil, a goopy of my CeraVe. Like I'll do my hand a generous amount of goopy. And then I've been putting a few drops of this L'Occitane shower oil uh -huh. on and the goopy. foam up? Nope. Okay, nope. Because this and foams then, up a little bit on me. Well, I'm not using it in the shower. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So I get the big scoopy of the CeraVe, I put the oil, and I mean, I've got it good, girl, and I get it, get it, get it, get it. And there's a lot to do here. There's a lot to do. I get it. Takes That's what I do. Bit, it takes a minute. 
but it's worth it and it feels so good. And I love that this is unscented. Yes. Okay. This is unscented, but that this smells, smells good. divine. So you're adding, you know, Scent. oil and I never fragrance about into that. Adding oil to this. That's yeah, a really good it's idea. really good. It feels really, really good. So then Holly introduced me to the CeraVe Night Renew the Skin Renewing Night Cream by CeraVe. I don't know what it is. It's different, isn't it? And I couldn't it's explain different. it to you. I was like, it's a different well, look, consistency. Look, I've already got this is my second one. Because I'm going in there, girl. I'm getting it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I have been putting this on my face. Now, I have been using this morning and night. Shit, girl. I've been wearing this under my night. makeup because I'm so dry. And I've been taking a dabby of this in my hand and adding... I had um, some Josie Maron Argon Oil, the little bitty yes, thing, and yes. I do a couple drops of that and oh, mix that's it a together. Good idea. I put just it got on my that face. Oil, that rainbow oil from Josie Maron. Yeah, I think I should do that in my. You totally mix it. Yeah, uh, because this is unscented. I don't hardly smell anything there. Yeah. So that's Most another reason why I love Cerave. Is unscented doesn't irritate your eyes. So then I also still go in with this. On top of it, I mean, I am piling this shit on, okay? Loving this. And then, Dr. Dre, I, she was talking about this, and I bought this as an impulse buy on Why Amazon the other day. One? Buy two. Why aren't you buying two? Amazon, CeraVe skincare, two, two. You should have gotten me one of these. I didn't know you were getting that. Healing ointment, skin protection, non-greasy feel, and I've been putting it on my lip. I just got it yesterday, so I mean, I haven't even hardly. So if you had ordered two, you would have brought me one today. Okay. Okay. So then, the other thing that I really, really like, and I've talked about this for years, yes. is the um, soap, yeah, and glory. soap and Glory hand food. Yes. And Makeup by Tiffany D got me on this years ago. I have been lathering this on with some oil, with some cuticle oil, and putting my hands down mm -hmm. in these little therapy gloves. Mm -hmm. And just sit on the couch and, oh, it just okay. feels good. So, like a little spa treatment. So I like that Soap and Glory milk thing. I like the milk. Yes. Milk. I like yeah. that smell better than that. But okay, so let's talk about these therapy gloves real quick. Let's let's back up for two seconds, back to Dr. Dre saying, stop using so much soap. Mm -hmm. You aren't that dirty. But right, unless you're working in a coal mine. Well, but see, my Paul works at a hospital. And so as he's in and out of like some different areas of the hospital, he has to use that um hand sanitizer which is full of alcohol so he ends up getting really dry skin during the winter but his hands so from here down is are just chapped even though his whole body dries out and i think he could use i was talking to him about maybe a spray lotion have you ever seen those lotions that you can spray on i think who was talking about that Reese? Kristen, was the userin Oh, I should. And I she should go thought back she was going to be able to rub it in, but it really wasn't a rub in. You just spray it, and it does its thing. Because I think thing. for his body, mm -hmm. he gets really dry. I think for his body, he needs a spray. But he has been buying millions of different kinds of ointments for his hands, different kinds of night creams, night oils. He ended up getting some spa gloves, but these have that thing. Oh, weird. So it has like this rubbery interior texture. I don't know if you all can see that. So he coated his, so because he was doing these. Mm -hmm. It wasn't enough? It, it wasn't enough because he felt like his were a little different texture. They were more just cotton gloves. He felt like, and I would help him with this. He would oil up his hands and I would like stretch this out so he could like go in because if you try to put them on yourself right, it's it gonna kind take of some of the products off. exactly so i've been like holding them open he like goes in and then i like pop the glove around it and that tends to absorb he felt like it absorbed most of the ointment so then we got these that had this rubber interior well he <laughs> got them and they're heavy he was up at like two o'clock. He had to pee or whatever, and I just hear him. Went to bed with the water. Yes. Oh, I'd be kind of freaked he's out. Like, yeah. He's like, my hands are sweaty because this like 
not only traps the oil, breathe. but then it makes you sweat. And it's like your hands are just in this pool of its own oily sweat. You know sweat? what he probably needs, he and he'll really, never do it. He'll never do it. He, yeah. He, he has done like a paraben dip, but that's really just very temporary. It is temporary, but it feels so good. It but does you know what else good. they do at this at the salon is they or they do for me as soon as they Those take a look at my hands. Mitts. Well, they put they get out a um sandwich bag. Yes. And they put the oil and the lotion down in it. They do like this, you put your hands in it, and then you put your hands in like the little heated mitts. Yes. You know, and oh, He's just, and it's like, not only does it work at the hospital and uses a lot of hand sanitizer, but in his, just him, I think he's an over hand washer, just in general. That. Right. And I am too. I mean, we're both kind of on the germaphobe kind of situation. I think he might be a little bit more, but it is just killing his hands. It's killing his hands. So we've been trying different things. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. He's just gonna have to stay on top of it. I know. It's you know, it's not good. Anywho, what else um, we got? another thing that I asked my boss for Friday. I work in a building where it, it's such a tight building. It's practically soundproof building, and Ooh. the circulated air. And when uh, they turn that heat on, it's yucky. holy living crap. It is not only is it hot, but it's dry, like I'm dry even thinking about it. And I'm telling you, I drink water. You drink I drink more water, water than anyone I know. Yep. I cake on the lotion while I'm at work and I my face is going to crack off. So my boss was, she was out sick Friday and I sent her an email and I was like, you know, I hardly ever ask for, for office supplies because I really don't. I have everything I need. Yeah. And I said, can we please buy a humidifier? Please. Uh -huh. And I sent her this link to one on Amazon. It was $39. I said, I'll use my Amazon Prime. $39? Thing. That's cheap. Because yeah. I've seen humidifiers at like Costco and Sam's that are like over 100 Well, this was $39. So I, we don't have it yet. Just ordered it Friday. So we'll get it. <clears throat> I said it's good for offices and bedrooms and... Cute. So we'll see. Cause I can't. I can't deal it with anybody. In fact, she herself had a nosebleed. See. And I bet you five dollars that it, it may not have caused it, but it's not helping it. Right. Dry and cracky. And so I'm dry all day. I can't stand it. So we're order a humidifier. The other thing that I'm saving me this winter, because I have to park on the street at home. I don't have a garage to keep a car warm. Remote start. Yes, yeah, so you can't do that with a race car clutch. No one cares. Remote start is the greatest thing that's ever been invented of life. I'm sorry. And just because is. you have a garage doesn't mean it's warm. Because we that's have a true. De we have a detached garage, and our cars are so cold, so cold. You don't have to scrape it. Remote start. <clears throat> then, last thing. Impulse buy. You got a vibrator. And this was, I did not see this on Dr. Dre. She probably would not approve of this at all, but I bought it. It was an impulse buy. Speaking of pulse, <laughs> this does pulse. Directions are in Chinese. Like, this does not help me. You can't read that? No. But this is one of the 24 karat um, plated facial massager. Is it? It is supposed to help you, your lymphatic system. You can do the same thing with your hands, okay? You do the same thing with your hands. But you oil your face up, like with coconut oil, and the greasier your face, the better this is, okay? You got some slip on that. And you do like your sinuses, and you, then you can do your neck. Yeah, you have to come Here. down It vibrates, it's got a battery in it. It's kind of nice. <laughs> How often are you using it? Well, I just got it, oh, okay. so I haven't really. But you're, you can also, it's waterproof. You can use it in the tub, but I tried it in the tub, but it was like skipping. Like, yes. Because my face was wet and just like, that's yes, it needs not oil. the right environment. You need oil. But just make sure that you're going out with your sinuses. Yes, and then this way. Out with your jaw and then down, and then with down your, your neck. neck. Right. That's the right. that's the lymphatic drainage. There are a couple of massage lymphatic massages uh, out there on YouTube that are very helpful on how to drain your face. 
And not only that, but it also <laughs> brings the blood flow. Yes. So yes. it's yes. like my face was red and not in a bad way. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't irritated. But it's, it was bringing that blood flow yeah. up. It's like you've been slapped in the face. Yeah, in a good way. So that's what it's keeping me sane. I mean, don't get me wrong. I bitch a lot about it being cold. Just ask my boyfriend. But so how do you stay sane in the winter? What? I'm not sure if if I do, but I have to have a necky scarf. So we're, we're seeing my necky scarf. It's so cute. Though. I think it's cashmere. It is so awesome. It's my Did, favorite thing. I think Amy, Amy, it's, it's a, few, a few years back. Right, right. And then the CeraVe. So I had already shown you guys that. Then the spa lo uh, lotion gloves, which is going to help my paw. But the only other thing you had said something about your bedroom slippers. I treated myself to some new winter <gasps> boots. So you wore those at Christmas, didn't yes, you? Yes, yes. So I have decided. Okay, I am not a socks person. I don't think either one of us are sock people. Uh, not really. But I have a trip to New York, so I don't know if you all are watching this before I go or after I go. But I was going to New York, and I had decided that I needed wool socks. I felt like if my feet are cold, I'm going to be. Pissed. Your whole body's cold, yeah. And, and then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have an attitude, and I don't want that with my friends that we're going to New York together and my Paul. I don't want them to have to tolerate me being cold. And if my feet are cold, then I'm really gonna be grumpy. So I decided to look for wool socks that aren't itchy, and I think it's called like Murano wool. Mm -hmm. So I got a few pairs like and a wool I like blend. Them. Yeah, I, know, I like them, mm -hmm. but I needed. So I, I wanted several things happening here. First of all, I wanted it to look like a combat boot. It does. In I, a cute way. In a cute way. <coughs> I Excuse wanted me. it to way. have a zipper on and off because you don't need to be lacing this stuff up over and over and over. So it butt. has a zipper on and off. But then I thought it could be snowing in um, New York. So I needed a sole. Traction. That had traction. So I really like these, um, and it's got, it, they're kind of thick here at the side, so I'm hoping that it'll be warm, plus my wool, plus the traction. These Where'd are, you get them? These are from Earth Brand, and I got them on Amazon. Did it come in a wide? No, but they are wide, because I read a lot of reviews. Because your foot's wide. And I ended yeah. up getting a nine. I usually wear about an eight and a half, but I was accounting for the wool socks. So I got the nine, and I'm very happy that I did. Plus, because they're lace-up and adjustable, and I can zip them on and off, once I adjust them to the width, and you know you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you can just zip them on and off. So that's what I got for the winter stuff. That was, I think that's all on my list. The boots, the lotion, the cream, um, the gloves. I think that's all. Anyway, kids, stay warm wherever you are. I don't know if you're part of that sonic boom, or I mean the boom... Winter boom, the boom, snow, snow boom, cyclone, cyclone, boom, cyc cyclone, snow boom. We're sorry, but we hope that you've stayed, stayed warm and you've survived. If there's anything we need to know to make it more tolerable, please comment down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Or you just like my space buns. Or you like Holly's space buns. And don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, my goodness, girl. Get a girl, get a girl, get a girl. So are we going to do another one, or should we just be, like, done? Nora said that we're the cutest. Oh, duh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We know. <laughs> okay. Holly just figured out how to make um, boomerang work on Instagram. You Dangerous. can't tell me it's not fun. It's totally It fun. is so funny to see how it just does like this. And, and why? And it's very we, subtle. It's very subtle. And we, why do we, we're why just. Why do the same thing in every one of them? Ding, ding. Right.